It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160. And in the studio with us this morning, he's this guy pulling double duty today. We've got him in our next half hour as well, an entirely different topic, uh, a little bit more fun in this time. So as we talk with Ralph May and uh, Janet May, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, joining us here in the studio today. And uh, it's it's one of our favorite topics, too. Uh, is uh, the oldies dance that you have coming up. When is it? When it is it? on June the 2nd this year. June 2nd? Yes. At the Indiana Country Club, huh? It is at the Country Club this year. Yeah. It's been since last September that you had us in here to talk about the first oldies dance. Mm-hmm. We were looking for a way at St. Thomas More University Parish to replace the Newman Hughes book sale since, yeah. since it went away. We needed a fundraiser, but also a way to have some community involvement. Mm-hmm. And the idea of an oldies dance came up. It was such a big hit yeah. that as people were leaving, it's like, when are you going to have this again? <laughs> so we're really excited to be holding oldies dance too. How about that? Our conversation with the Mays brought to you by Marcus and Mack, about the best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people you know when the uh when the newman sale goes away that's a big hole it uh, is very that, big, that very is very big yeah uh but uh this opportunity here and and as as you said janet i mean people jumped on that right away didn't they they did we were not sure what to expect but it was overwhelming the number of people who came to the dance and uh the number of people who got out on the dance floor and participated it, yeah. it just really really was a huge event it's not as big of a fundraiser unfortunately as the book sale was mm-hmm. but the community involvement is also very important to our church so yeah. we're glad to have that yeah so this is ralph something that uh, is is obviously a, a very very big deal right uh, but it's also something that has limited space so people want to get their tickets they ought to get them right away yeah we're not going to sell tickets to do it or and we moved to the country club this year because rustic lodge unfortunately which was our venue last year closed uh and people will need to buy the tickets early we have to we will be selling the tickets after the masses at church and at the office right after the 9 30 mass on may the 21st and 29th only yes yeah and then and they can go into the church office if they or want. into the church office and and so it's going to be june 2nd from 7 to 10 we got dj mix master mike miller and he did just an incredible job. He, I, I don't yeah. know if you know Mike, but he, he really does a great job with, with spinning the oldies from 60s, 70s, and 80s. And people were out dancing, and, you know, he, he does requests. And people just really commented on how well the dance went because he just did a really good job yeah. keeping people engaged. Mike and, from Giant Eagle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew he was good. Oh, he's good. He's good. He's real good. <laughs> so, but, that, but that really, I think, helps make the evening, too. And everybody mm-hmm. just talked about how fantastic experience it was. So. Yeah, yeah. A uh, big part of the night as well, basket raffles, right? That was a huge part of the night. I can't really? get over how many people were so excited. We actually ran out of tickets right before we were going to close it down anyway. But this year we're going to make sure we have plenty of tickets to uh-huh. sell. Um, we're expecting over 30 baskets this year. And they are donated from local organizations as well as parishioners. And some of the examples that I've seen coming in so far, we have a black and gold basket that contains pirate, stealer, and penguins items, including two tickets to a penguins game for the 2023-24 season. Mm -hmm. And then uh, dining around Indiana baskets from restaurants such as Benjamin's, Bruno's, Eaton Park, the Rose Inn, Romeo's. Shopping in Indiana will have certificates from Giant Eagle and Martin's. And then we do a lot of themed baskets. I have Life is a Beach with beach towels and Uh a beach bag ready to hit the beach this summer. Pamper Me Baskets, Welcome to My Garden, and the always famous lottery tickets. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You got to have those. Got to have those. Does does, uh, Ralph have a good beach body? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's our story, and we're sticking to it. So <laughs> <laughs> no one has to see it around here, so I'm okay. There's no beaches in Indiana that I know of. So we got 50-50 tickets as well, and that's really a big a, a big deal for us because the 50-50 was pretty hefty last year. We had a lot of people participating, so mm-hmm. winner gets half. We also have door prizes at the end, and the door prizes, we've got some very nice floral arrangements donated from the Flower Gallery and Flo's Floral. Uh, donated to us, so the door prizes will be these nice arrangements. And these arrangements go for a good bit nowadays. They're very nice, very, very detailed. So we've got a lot of different things going on at this dance, yeah, I think. Yeah. Is good. And and one of the things that we need to emphasize is the oldies dance is not just an occasion for fun and right. games. 
Uh, but there's there's a serious component too because you're raising vitally needed funds. Well, the, without the book sale, and the book sale raised quite a bit. I mean, we had been established. The book sale had been around for 50 years, and so we had been really established. We drew people in from all over this East Coast, really, mm -hmm. for the book sale. And so this helps to try to offset some of that loss, and, and it really is necessary because right now, you know, churches, a lot of people are having trouble with fundraising and maintaining services and maintaining things for the community. And so St. Thomas More does a lot for the students. And so it's really important that we try to supplement and augment what we can do to sustain those efforts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think if people realize the reach that St. Thomas More has into the community as a whole, but specifically the IUP student population, uh, people might be really surprised. I, I think so, because you know, St. Thomas More is built for IUP. It's the parish, Catholic parish on IUP's campus, and really the kids are, even though we, we reach out in the community in a lot of other ways, the kids are the, really the what we're there to try to serve. And these kids, you know, a lot of times, they it's amazing that we have homeless students. And, and, you know, it's like they don't have things like basic needs. And so we help meet those needs when there's really a few other options for them. So we do a lot of things for the for the community and for the students. And I think this is an important way that we can sustain that effort. Yeah, my goodness. And when you say that, that sounds kind of shocking, doesn't it? It does. Homeless students at IUP. It does, but, you know, we, we don't see sometimes things we don't look for, right? It's mm -hmm. kind of one of a hidden problem. And so and, and the, the campus works on it and we work on it, but it's a concerted effort to try to meet the needs of the students. And, 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 and there are some of them that just do struggle. Yeah, yeah. So this helps to uh, alleviate some of their concerns and, and, and it turns into a pretty fun night, too, for everybody involved. Uh, this is something that uh, can easily be gotten behind. Um, uh, Janet, when, when you think back to last year's dance, uh, and, and you, you talked about the spirit and the fun that everybody had at it, uh, it has to be pretty heartening to know that people are willing to get out there and uh, to support an event like this um, in its very first year. Absolutely. And like I said, we were really overwhelmed at the number of people who showed up, and especially with DJ uh, Mike coming to do it. He was so fabulous at getting the people involved. Um, we had a, a person with a walker out on the dance floor. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and yeah. and it, it, it was an oldies dance, but we had quite a range from we teenage. Had young, we had some people there, young people there, too. And, you know, in the 80s, are not that long ago, you know. So, but it, so we, we had uh, – it is, but I'm saying it's not – but but it, it, we had just a great mix of people, and the energy was really good. And I think, and we had people. You know, by the way, you don't have to be Catholic to go to this. We had a lot of people from the community that just were coming in to support the church and have a good time. And so, mm -hmm. it it really was a good a good cross section, I think, of the community. Just like the book sale used yeah. to bring a lot of people in, it yeah. really made a big difference. Yeah. And also, yeah. after COVID, we've noticed people are still a little slow in coming back and being involved in things. Yeah. And that sort of sparked it a little bit more, and we're hoping that'll do that again this year. Yeah, yeah. And, and what you said about um, uh, you don't have to be uh, a Catholic, um, obviously you, there's there's less a chance that people who aren't Catholic are going to be at the Mass to get their tickets right. afterwards. So but they can the check into the, the week, office. They, can, they in. can, can call into the office. And tickets are available during regular business hours at the St. Thomas More office, mm -hmm. and that's Monday through Friday from 9 to 4.30. Yeah. And, and we Thomas, are stressing that tickets yeah. will not be available at the door this year, so you need to get your tickets ahead of time. Because yeah. we have a limited amount of – I wouldn't say limited space, but we – we won't have enough room for people that wait until the last minute to buy tickets at the door. So, yeah. you know, people don't know where St. Thomas More is. It's right here on Oakland Avenue. I mean, it's right on the main drag. So right across from the IUP parking lot. And you pull right lot. into the parking lot, and the office is right there. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and $25 for $25 gets you into the dance, and we're also going to have appetizers available, um, cheese and crackers and veggies and dip, and there will be a cash bar. All right, there you go. So all of that uh, for the oldies dance happening on June the 2nd, 7 to 10 p.m. At the Country Club. At the Country Club. Wonderful. What else do people need to know? I think if they come, they'll have a great time. I mean, I, I, and I think that, you know, the most important thing is, you know, to come and be around people and enjoy the camaraderie and the collegiality and have a good time. I mean, this is what this is about. Yeah, well, yeah it's a fundraiser and it's an important fundraiser, but it's also an opportunity to have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what people need to know. It's critical for the mission of the parish. But it's also a, a good way to have fun and spend some time. It's 7 to 10 on a Friday night, so we won't keep you out too late, yeah. you know. But, but yeah. you know, it's, it's, a, but it's, it's a great opportunity to have some fun. 
Well, yeah, and and Janet, what you said about um, you know the actual opportunity to get out and be among people again. There are people who still aren't used to that yet. Right. Right. After the pandemic. And, and it was such a nice opportunity to socialize. Uh, everybody left with smiles on their faces. And, and like I said, everybody, when are you going to have this again? Yeah. So we're really excited to be able to pull this off again this year. And I will say that Father Andrew from uh, Parochial Vicar from our parish is a great dancer. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so it's worth coming just to see him dance. Really? Yeah, he's a great dancer. Young guy, newly minted priest, he's a great dancer. <laughs> Still can move, you know, I'm like, Older people like us. <laughs> <laughs> Friday, June the 2nd at the Indiana Country Club. That's a month and a day away from now, 7 to 10 p.m. Get your tickets at the uh, St. Thomas More Parish. Uh, the office hours Monday through Friday, 9 to 4.30. You can get them after the masses as well. Thank you so much, Mr. and Mrs. May. Thank, Thank you, you so Todd. Much Thanks for having, for having us. us. Visit with us. It is Indiana in the Morning. It's WCCS.